Yep, that's me. I'm a 39-year-old man that lives in my van down by the river. People keep telling me I'm living the dream. Several years ago, I quit my day job, got rid of my stuff, and moved into the, the little Volkswagen bus I bought when I was 17 years old. This is the first car I ever bought when I was just out of high school, and I was looking for something that I could go on road trips in. Give it a dollar, so man, he's a floor pickup job. Give me the keys and a handshake, and he wish me luck. Said don't drop further than you want to at home. It breaks down a lot, but I keep it going. I play music in honky-tonks, bars, and restaurants, any place that'll hire me. I mostly stay out west, though. The land is bigger out here, and the towns are smaller. The smaller, the better. I'm not much into cities. What's important to me is my family and friends, the freedom of the wide open spaces, and living close to nature. I stay outside as much as I can. The more simply I live, the closer I stay to those things. They even put me in a movie about old Volkswagen buses. Me and my little bus were on TV all over America. They even flew me to the factory in Germany to play at a big corporate shindig. Now I get fan mail sometimes. They tell me about their buses and about times when they traveled and had adventures. They tell me they miss being on the road. They tell me I'm living the dream. Music has always been important to me. Nothing else could convey pure emotion so simply and so directly. I even had to pull my bus to the side of the highway a time or two when I get a tear in my eye listening to really good music. I write songs about the people and places I meet on my journey. I think of myself as a story collector. People have told me that sometimes my music gives them a tear in the eye. In my gold, gold, or platinum, mother of pearl, I don't want a song, I want the girl. I have two CDs out. I sell them at my gigs. They're all my own songs. Each one has about as much music as a CD can possibly hold. It's expensive to make CDs, and it's a long process, so I get as much music on each one as I can. Lately, though, people have been asking me for a new CD. I guess they've worn the old ones out. Three years ago, I met a girl at Burning Man. Burning Man is a big arts festival out in the desert. We really fell in love. She's from Scotland, so when we're not in my bus, we live in the one-room cabin she built on her parents' land outside of Aberdeen. I like it here because I can still live simply. We burn wood to heat the cabin and to heat water for my outdoor showers, and we use old car batteries for electricity. Things are different when I'm living here. I don't have my old bus here, but I bought an old bicycle at a jumble sale. It's a 1951. It's squeaky and it breaks down a lot, so it's just like my bus. And I don't get to camp in beautiful places along the road here, so I built this nice chair out of rocks by the side of the cycle trail. I stop here on the long ride back from town for a rest and a think. On weekends, I ride to town and play the piano at a posh hotel downtown. 
Women sit around with three-tier sandwich trays and drink vodka drinks from teapots. Couples sit around and play Jenga at the high tables. They don't seem to pay too much attention to me, but I guess they like having me there. But still, people have been asking me, when will I make a new CD? I guess they've worn the old ones out. Last year, Mary and I made friends with Kim and Johnny. They live in a crazy big old house in the Scottish countryside. They're not rich or anything. They don't even own the house or the stuff in it. They just get to live there because of Johnny's peculiar Scottish ancestry. Some say Johnny is one of the best fiddlers in all the land. He's in a band called the Old Blind Dogs. They're known all over the world to lovers of traditional Scottish music. One American astronaut even played their music in space. So yeah, coming up for 25 years, touring America twice a year for the last 20 years, and Europe, and wherever they'll have me. Johnny converted part of the old house into a state-of-the-art recording studio. I told Johnny that people have been asking me for another CD, and he invited me to record it here, at the house of Niao. <laughs> Champagne! <laughs> It was built by the Forbes family. It's, it's belonged to my family. It's been in my family since it was built in 1604. You know, you pick up books in this house and you look at paintings in this house and you, you see things in this house that, you know, will, will be here long after I'm gone and they've been here for hundreds of years before. So that's, that's kind of comforting to me. The House of Niao has a magical piano. It was my mother's piano. It was her aunt's piano before that. It was built in, uh, it's in 1916, I believe there, and it's been where it is now. It hasn't, be, it hasn't moved since uh, 1927. It's been there. So it's pretty well settled in. The blue flares, I think, have just got a different touch than a, than a Steinway or, 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 or equivalent. Um, they're not everybody's cup of tea. They've got the, that piano particularly has a very soft action and uh, you probably f find that from playing it that you can you can really play into it it's, it's not the most responsive instrument it's not going to no, the notes are not going to sparkle out at you you really have to make it work but of course the benefit of that is you get this beautiful timbre out of it this mellow uh, even tone from top to bottom out of that piano and uh, I'm just so used to hearing it I've been hearing that in that piano particularly for many many years and I just it has a character and a sound that uh, yeah that I just adore I knew right away this was the perfect place to record the new CD so I tried to think of where to get the money. I do a lot of thinking when I'm out on the cycle trail. One thing I've learned on the road is to be humble, to let people help you when you're broken down. I thought about that. And someone told me about crowdfunding. They said it's the new paradigm in the music business. They said to put a video up on the Universal NetWeb. So we recorded some of me playing the piano at Johnny's. My friend Pete interviewed me and I tried to sound really professional. You're not just going to go and buy this album and listen to it. You're going to be a part of the project because from before the album's made, you're putting some money behind it and you're and also investing emotionally in it because you've looked hopefully at this video or this project and say, yeah, this is something that I want to be a part of. I want to help support and maybe I can't fly over to Scotland and be right there, but I can put a little bit of money towards this thing and I can see somebody's dream come true. And that's more valuable than anything else. It's getting, we're not going to need a lot of money for this project. We're going to do it pretty inexpensively. And that, that'll be the thing. Hey, blue. Whoa, and the dog strange. got up in the middle of the interview. It's like, I don't want to be on TV, man. I'm just trying to take a nap. I think dogs secretly like to keep us humble. Part of this, I think, would be your your final plea if it were well I, I i think that's about it i've i would feel like i've i've kind of done the homework and managed to arrange things so we've got you know a high quality instrument high quality studio and, and great 
graphics and and I know how to put a CD together and so we've got this all lined up and we have these these people in these facilities that are willing to charge us a fraction of what they would charge a normal client and so you'll be getting good value for your money and as an artist I all I can say is I appreciate and I'm humbled by people willing to support you know, for lack of a better word, my vision, my, my art, my music. So that's it. That's me. Send me some money and I'll make you some good music. Maybe I'll even give you a tear in the eye. And hopefully someday you'll see me out on the road or around the campfire and you'll know that you help keep the dream alive. Thank you.